So Better Place had, and you get a feel for the Cascading Miracles pattern if you understand this company. So Better Place, uh, Shai Agassi was the entrepreneur, had the concept that to save the world, literally, uh, climate change, uh, we needed electric cars everywhere. And uh, the only way you could have them is if you could reliably recharge them um, when they were out on the road. So he wanted to deploy a network of charging stations everywhere, everywhere, including um, stations where a car would drive in, a robot would pull out the depleted battery and pop in a fully charged battery, all in five minutes, about the same amount of time it would take the gas up. And um, they deployed this network in Israel and Denmark, um, raised $900 million. And um, it was just too much, too much in every dimension, too big a, a behavioral change for, for the customer. So, so let's step, step back and think what has to go right. And, and now you're, you're, our audience will, will see what we mean by cascading miracles. So think of an equation where you're gonna multiply a bunch of things together. And if any of the things, any of the elements are at zero, the whole um, expression goes to zero. So um, a bunch of long shot probabilities or, or difficult probabilities, uncertainties that this company faced, you needed behavioral change um, on the part of consumers. This was 2008 before um, the only electric car out there was the, the uh, Tesla Roadster, $110,000 uh, little sports car. Um, and, um, and you needed government subsidies for that, obviously, um, which, which hadn't happened yet you needed the big car companies to design their cars to have the swappable batteries. Big deal, big deal to get Ford and Volvo and all these companies to change their car designs, imagine. Um, you needed to um, find places to put all these charging stations and battery swapping stations. Uh, you needed to raise um, uh, literally billions of dollars to deploy this thing. And you needed to have a team that could actually um, keep the wheels on as, 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 as you were building and executing all this stuff. So. Um, you, you needed a bunch of things to go right, and it would, you would need a cascade of miracles if all of them were going to go right. And, um, and, and they, got, um, they, they did get some things right, right? Uh, people did adopt electric cars eventually. Uh, there were government subsidies. They got one OEM, uh, Nissan, a Renault, um, to design a car that, that had the swappable battery. But um, it just turned out that deploying the, the recharging station turned out to be much more expensive than they originally projected. And, and um, and demand was while growing, um, you know, they only ultimately sold um, 1500 cars in the two countries. So we a long way from world domination. So yeah, cascading miracles and, and the pattern. So sometimes Tom, they work, right? I mean, Tesla was a case of cascading miracles. SpaceX certainly was. Um, if we go back, you and I are old enough to remember when Federal Express was launched um, in the, uh, early 70s, it was the biggest venture capital launch in history at the time. And people thought it was insane to fly a package from Buffalo to Cleveland through Nashville, Tennessee. Um, but if you look into those stories, I, maybe I've been this to cascading just in time <laughs> miracles. I mean, can you even just the ones you mentioned that there were there were some moments for Tesla that <laughs> really came to to a head. Uh, that they were staring at uh, a different outcome. Yeah, and Federal Express um, nearly bankrupt um, um, many times. So yeah, they're they're tough. Um, they tend to be run by um, or led by um, truly charismatic founders who can spin up. Um, you know, we use the expression "reality distortion field" about Steve Jobs and some other entrepreneurs. Uh, these are the the uh, the best at it. And and Shai Agassi was that. I mean, he could he could mesmerize. An audience just by sort of spinning a vision of, of a better the world is a better place um, with, with with his network deployed. Um, but there's a uh, there can be a um, a line between charisma and, and 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 cult leadership and and sometimes the reality distortion field folds back on itself and the charismatic founder can't see that the universe is saying uh, this is too early or this is too big um, this is not going to work. And, and then it becomes a tricky problem for the board of directors, you know, sort of how do you, how do you reel the person in and convince them that um, it's time to pivot, find something that can be done. 